So you're not booked? I'm not booked. Do you get in your own head and wonder where you went wrong? Or do you get angry at those idiots who don't see God-given talent? Or do you take steps into understanding why the decision was made and redirect it into making yourself undeniable? That is correct. The first thing I'll say is communicate. Go and find those in charge and maybe ask why you weren't booked or if they have any future plans for you. Or if they don't, pitch something, be proactive. I can tell you from my experience, it's usually nothing to do with the talent involved as to why they're not booked, but more to do with the booking of the whole show. The way I see it, it's kind of like the butterfly effect and there's a lot of moving parts and pieces and by having one incorrect piece, that could affect the entire flow of a show. So there's been times when a certain talent who may have been more than justified as having a spot on a show couldn't be used. Perhaps there were other storylines that need to be paid off at that time, or maybe that talent needed to have a show off so he'd come back with a fresh coat of paint and gain a better response when they come back. So ask, put yourself out there. Know why it is that that decision was made. And that way you can get out of your own head and you can stop the negative dialogue. I like to talk about the hierarchy of importance in pro wrestling. First we have the industry, then the promotion, then the show, the match, your opponent, and you. Now this can apply to booking a card, to planning a match, or any little decision you might make in the pro wrestling industry. So back to what I said previously, if a match doesn't make sense to the show or to the promotion, well then you're no more important than these things. Also when planning a match, if you had this wicked idea to hit this Canadian destroyer through five tables and you knew that it would be made into a gift the next day. But if that didn't make sense to the promotion or the match, then it shouldn't make sense to you. So where to now? You didn't get booked, you spoke to creative, they had nothing for you. You know you're talented and you know you need a spot on that show, you deserve it. Well the one thing I always say is, show your face. Out of sight, out of mind, if you're not there and you're not involved, you're gonna be forgotten. And by going to a show and helping out, you can watch the show and you can see all the gaps that you know you have a place. We can't have 10 underdog baby faces on a card. But maybe, maybe there's a spot for a comedy character. Maybe there's a spot for a tag team. Look and see what they need and make sure that you fit that role perfectly. So next time you get overlooked, make sure you're taking positive steps into ensuring that next time you're undeniable. Well, you made it to the end, but it's not over. If you wanna see more videos like that, click on the subscribe button in the top right hand corner, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be a stranger, comment below. I'd rather be in the main event than breathe.